10 Reasons Why, Science News Report, Beaming Solar Energy. The Japanese engineering giant Mitsubishi has succeeded in transmitting energy wirelessly. The breakthrough marks one small step for solar energy in space, and possibly one giant leap for clean energy. Imagine a power plant floating in outer space, below, a bustling city, with electric cars traveling the roads, all powered by a steady beam of extraterrestrial electricity. What sounds like science fiction could soon be a reality, after scientists in Japan have pulled off an engineering feat of cosmic proportions, with the potential to make even the most modern solar parks look like relics from the Stone Age. The race to revolutionize the world's energy supplies is fierce, with climate change pushing many countries to rethink their position on conventional energy. Indeed, Mitsubishi is not the first to transmit energy without cables. A day before the company's big announcement, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency said it had successfully sent 1.8 kilowatts, 55 meters through the air. But Mitsubishi is the first to have transmitted such a large amount, enough to run a set of conventional kitchen appliances, over such a long distance. The breakthrough marks a significant, if small, step towards one day tapping into the biggest source of clean, sustainable energy in our solar system, our sun, but unhindered by the weather or time of day. Mitsubishi says it plans to do just that by sending solar cell-covered satellites into orbit, 36,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Suspended in space, the cosmic power generation plants will convert the harnessed energy into microwaves and beam it down to so-called retina receiving stations on the ground. A retina is a special antenna that can convert microwave energy into electricity. The company says it wants to commercialize its space solar power system, SSPS, by 2030. Please join us again for the next installment of the 10 Reasons Why, Science Report, and so you don't miss our reports please hit the subscribe button now. Thank you.